welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for watching. I'm doing a video on how to use a Salon Tech Spin Style Curling Iron. I'm just quickly straightening my front bangs, um, just so those are done. So I'm just using a thin uh, flat iron for that, so just bear with me. Um, but I love the Spin Style Curling Iron. I find it holds curl really well because it's ceramic. I did pre-spray with um, Lotto Body Concentrated mixed with water. So I just made my own little kind of styling start solution, sprayed, and then combed through with a large size comb. Links for everything I'm using I'll put down below in the info box. And there it is, a Spin Style Spinomatic Curling Iron. One of my favorite curling irons to use on myself and clients. I find it super easy. So I like to section my hair in two. And I just take one inch sections, as you can see, and I'm curling outward. And then the one button goes one direction, one in the other. So you just press till you get it and then let it grab it and see how it just spins. And that's it. That It's super easy to use. A lot of people find it complicated. It's not. And I like to clip my curls just so the heat molds that curl and holds it longer. So using the styling solution and then the ceramic curling iron with the clip just helps hold those curls. And I just love the, the volume and the look of it too. So you can curl in tighter. I'm just doing my ends as you can see. And I just kind of roll it in. And then what I'm going to do is I press the opposite switch to reverse it and let go of the curl. There you go. And then we're going to clip that up. I'm just using a bigger clip. I like using metal clips uh, to hold the curl. So I'll give you a link to that as well. And once again, I'm curling out. So I'm curling in the same direction. I'm letting the curler grab it and I'm pressing the switch. And then to release it, I press the opposite switch and you can see the curl there. The longer pieces are always a little bit looser, but that heat and rolling it up and clipping it like that will help mold the hair. So I'm just once again taking one inch sections, curling around, and you don't have to hold it for very long. I held it for maybe a couple seconds. That ceramic uh, curling iron is very hot, and for some reason it just really holds a curl really well and works well with the hair. And that, like I said, with the styling solution and that and clipping it, it really helps hold your curls. So we're going to go all the way around. We are almost done. And I'm using double prong uh, metal clips for most of the curls that I'm clipping up. And there you go. You can see me spinning in the reverse direction when I'm letting go. And then I didn't like how that looked, so I'm going to do it one more time. And you can do that. That's the great thing about this curling iron. Just grab it again. And then you can see that curl at the bottom. Roll it up. Clip it. Wait a few minutes. And you can determine how well your hair holds curl. I'm going to now take them all out. And you can see how well it kind of grabbed that curl. And I'm going to use a large uh, coconut infused comb to brush through and I gently just comb through and you can see the different waves and these are loose waves if you want a tighter vintage wave I have videos on that and I'll put a link to one of them for you now I'm using that skinny flat iron again to get rid of the frizz right at the top and that's a great way to get rid of the frizz when you've got Betty bangs and you're doing curls on the end of your hair and I mean use whatever tool you need to get that look you want and once again, I'm curling the other side and I've combed through with my coconut infused comb. I'm spraying with a finishing spray that also you can use as a setting spray and I'll put a link for that. And just kind of grabbing, adding volume. You can tease the ends with a teasing brush if you want that more blanket look. Spraying again. And then that flat iron is great for getting rid of that little frizz. It just helps. And then you can use a pomade to kind of smooth down any more frizz you may have on the top. And there we go. There's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll put links for everything down below. And there's a little back view. Thank you very much. See you again.